People working paycheck uh, to paycheck. Are you a free trader, Senator? Do you Absolutely. Agree, you yeah. agree with all the tariffs? Do you, do you think no, I, I, John Deere 200 percent? Do you I, think I, companies I, that, that make stuff here should be a 15 percent tax? That's industrial policy, isn't I, it? I believe that President Trump oftentimes talks in the abstract. Okay. Number one. Number two, I do believe that we have <laughs> the final... So what are we supposed to believe, yeah, 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 believe then? Well, listen, let's believe his performance. Tim Scott, no, he's not saying anything that's grounded in fact or, fit, or truth. And, and that's that's the problem with people like Tim Scott, people that are willing to defend Donald Trump and go to war, go to bat for a person who has no morality, for a person who has no platform to stand on. So when we sit here and we're arguing about something that is supposedly great or good for America, you have the audacity, Tim Scott, to couch it in being beneficial for black people, which is absolutely disgusting. And as a black man, I know it's disgusting. So you want to talk about don't listen to what Donald Trump says because he speaks in abstract. Let me clarify that. Tim Scott is saying don't listen to Donald Trump because he lies all the damn time. A lot of people like, oh, well, we don't want to have tariffs. The country was at the richest point in its history in the 1890s. It was all tariffs. If you look at uh, William McKinley as an example, he was a big tariff president. They had committees that were put in charge of what to do with the money. We were taking in so much money. He often lies is what Tim Scott is saying. And that is disgusting. But he doesn't just lie. He also crashed things, not just his personal business. Let's consider what happened, as Tim Scott said, during Donald Trump's presidency. You want to consider what happened? He mishandled COVID. And, and in doing so, more black men died than anybody else percentage wise because of COVID, because of the lies and the mishandling of the, the, the of the pandemic by Donald Trump. We should believe the seven million jobs that he created and two thirds of those jobs went to African-Americans, Hispanics and women. Question, we should actually okay, believe in what he produced. Yes. That excludes, uh, obviously, that excludes COVID, right? Part of, of what, part of what you're saying is we should sort of take this timeout period around COVID and not include that in... in, in not, that's not what I'm saying at all. I, I would actually say that if you look at COVID itself specifically, they said that you couldn't get a vaccine in 10 years or five years. No, he no, did it in I'm nine months. The, that happened under his presidency. You want to know what else happened? He didn't put out stimulus checks. Congress passed those checks. Democratically controlled Congress. And that bastard slew up the money. He made the money slow were to, res to get to people because... And how? Well, he wanted his name on a damn check so people can think that he was responsible for it. When in actuality, Republicans, including Trump, fought against it. It could have been out quicker had we put it on cars, but Donald Trump wanted to put his name on checks so he could fool people. Much like Tim Scott is trying to fool people right now. This is absolutely ridiculous behavior. You want to talk about what Trump did in his term, his first term is off his only term as president? You want to talk about that? Talk about the fact that that bloated liar, that bloated liar added 7.8 trillion, trillion with a T, dollars worth of debt. That's more debt. That's more debt than every American owns on school loans, cars, credit cards, and every other type of debt. 7.8 trillion. So when he's sitting up there talking about 1.8 trillion added by Biden, who was trying to bolster an economy that Donald Trump crashed, it's absolutely rich to me. Economic numbers. And the reason I'm, I'm raising this is because when we try to do an apples to apples between the Trump administration and the Biden administration, invariably what we hear is look at all of the economic growth during the Trump administration. But by the way, please don't look at the last year and then look at how terrible we say that the Biden administration did on a relative basis, but by well, the way, please, let's, let's, please don't uh, even let's, contemplate the idea that us, anything happened before that ask. as it relates to COVID. It's rich and it's disgusting that you would lie and act as if black people and brown people benefited under Donald Trump and you have that silly smirk on your face as you're doing the currying. You're doing the work of those who are trying to hurt black and brown people acting as if they're beneficial. You, sir, have a wonderful, wonderful spot in hell waiting for you. You want to talk about what Trump did under his presidency? Democracy was less safe. America's democracy was downgraded. Donald Trump set us back as it pertains to standing in the, in the world and also how, eat, how other Americans see each other. The discourse created by this president or this past president 
is absolutely unmatched. Donald Trump is a troll and Tim Scott is licking his boots.